I like Good. that name too. It, it has a ring to it. Did it on purpose. <laughs> no, I just never. I always found it weird. I, I never came up with a gamer tag because I used to have one, and everybody would call me that instead of my real name, and I always found that really weird. Yeah. Uh, I was like, people would be like, hey, you know, uh, Darth, whatever. Or I don't remember what my old name used to be. I had a million of them, but I was always like, this is weird. I'd rather people just call me Bobby. Frankly, like, I, as a gamer, I've been a gamer all my life, and I've used Kamos since I was a teenager. Really? And this is like back in, like, do Anar- you remember Anarchy Online? Mm-hmm. I played that in the beta. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's how long I've been playing MMOs and stuff. Wow. And, like, I've always used that name. Right. And the word is actually a misspelled Finnish word. So it's become my own name. It's actually, I found out later, like, this last year, it's actually a Greek word, too. Huh. So, like, people know me by that name on many, old, across multiple platforms. Huh. And inclu- especially Street Fighter. That's so, cool. So, like, I just don't change it. But the, 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 tri- the secret is Round you don't one. pick a name that can be referenced right. to something else. Like don't like Darth for example, right. Darth Vader. There's a lot of Darths out there. Yeah, but there's no Kamoses. Yeah, no. So like it becomes synonymous with you. Yeah. So like I'm playing another game. They're like, "Oh, you Kamos from like that other game?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." <laughs> you know, not a number. You really have right. to pick like a unique thing. And that's only if you're a gamer who really like plays a lot of online games. Is like a no life for like myself. Right. But uh, it, it does it does feel more natural to have that alter ego. Yeah, I just never, I don't know, I always just felt more approachable with the name Bobby. So that's kind of what I just went with. I was like, I'm just going to stick with that. So, yeah. All right, well, we got the names uh, backwards here. I love that here. name. I love Fidel Cashflow. There we go. So we're going to have uh, Dr. African going as Nikali, and uh, Drew of Fidel Cashflow is going to go as uh, Karen. Uh, interesting choice because Dr. African used to be a Vega player. Yes. Uh, no longer. Thinks he's Vega's real bad. He tries to. He's trying to play characters that actually have all the tools, yes. rather than Vega, which is more like a character specialist Ooh, type of thing. Gonna punish. I mean, it, yeah, pick a top tier, right? It's famously said by Sam Kelly. Oh yeah. You know, so like I feel like Doctor is probably doing the right thing, despite his love of the character. You know, Vega honestly isn't like the same character in this game anyway, than compared to other games. You know, and. Um, Nikali's an excellent character and underrepresented. One too. of the best. Yeah. Uh, Japanese, uh, they all put him in the top eight. Uh, I play him myself uh, because he has everything. As you can see, he's yes, he does. He's got a projectile that comes from the ground. He has an anti-air that crush counters. He's got a command grab. He's got an invincible DP. He's got a three-frame jab. He, a ridiculous damage. One of the best V-triggers in the game. Uh, two supers and they go through projectiles. He's got everything. So yes, he does. Uh, and this is where Nikali loves to be. Uh, a good uh, Drew got out of there, but Nikali loves to get you in the corner. Ooh, counter hit. There's one thing about that one like block string is that if you happen to like jump, and then he does the stomp and you're landing, you get like a punish. So yes. You have to be you have to be cognizant of that, and not just type it in. Right. You have to you have to not just throw out the. Uh, Stomp. The stomp, unless you're. Ooh, ooh. And Drew's gonna take this. Holy cow! Not bad. Playing very solidly. Uh, I think this is first to three, so I'm not Final sure round. if we're gonna see a character switch if Dr. African loses. Uh, looks like he might bring it back. Ooh, good. Just throw out the DP there. No oh, any here. Fishing. He's fishing. Nice. Carrying him to the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Backed up. I wonder why. Oh, yep, got him. Now he's fully in the corner. And now it's again. Yep. Doctor this is giving him a chance to, like, try to back out, you know, make a mistake. Yeah, pretty much. But that's where Nikali wants you. Like, Nikali is so good because he, like, again, he has all the tools. So once he gets you in the corner, you just have to guess. You ha- Like, most characters, take Ken, for example. Ken can really only do three things on your wake up. He can throw you, he can meet you, or overhead you. But Nikali's just got so much more decisions he can do, so... Yeah, but, like, uh, in the first round, Karen broke out in the corner pressure. Yeah, he was so, he was laid on his meaty, and he was able to get up with jab pressure to get out of it. So, if he had the experience, certainly he would make an adjustment to where, like, okay, my turn is right. over. Now, are you going to hang yourself? Because I, I know that you can get out if I do this. Well, rather than dash up in meaty, he could just throw out a fierce and bam, pressure right. counter. Drew is doing a really good job of, of uh, actually getting out of the corner here. Oh, that's going to be a confirm. Hmm. Goes for the hard knockdown. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, uh, and that's it. Very good. That yeah, makes Nikali really round. good. He gets a very... His crouching medium kick can get such an easy confirm into the V-Trigger with huge damage. Ooh, good whiff punish. Now we got Drew pushing Dr. African to the corner here. Oh, and he's out. Good DP to get back. Dr. Africa's just going right in. He's like, nope, I want to stay right in the corner. All right, it's train sides. Yep, jump. It's it's becoming a fighting game of who can actually stay in the corner. Like, they're just they're good. They're good players. They're yes. guessing well. Both both of them under pressure. Unfortunately, looks like Karen. Okay, maybe not. Ooh, safe on block. Yep. Uh, he could actually throw in a jab before that heavy stomp. He could get just a slight thing in there. Final round. Looks like it didn't matter. Most people don't seem to challenge Nikali on his heavy stomp, though. Ooh. All it's right. one of those things when you do it early on and they you find out whether or not they're going to challenge it. Right. And unless they're sandbagging for later in the match where it does matter. Exactly. Ooh. Drew gets a good confirm back into the corner. Jack Zafkin just playing patiently. Not. Ooh. Just DP right on out of there. Meaty throw. And now. Drew's in the corner here, Fidel cash flow. Got him on the confirm there, and nice. gonna get him with the command grab. Doctor playing very solid, to up 2-0 against Fidel cash flow. He's making, he's making Nicole Fidel cash flow have to guess a lot. Like that's, and that's what a good Nikali will do. They'll, they will beat your habits into thinking, oh, you're gonna do this, and then, oh yeah, make you forget he's got a command grab, or oh yeah, forget he's got a, a really ridiculous Round block one. string that he can trap you in the corner, so. Good confirm, carrying over to the corner again. Ooh, nice size mount. Size mount. Ooh, good late DP. Now we're back. He's been punished a few times with size mount, but now it seems like he's connecting with it. He's throwing it out just to, like enough to, to throw Fidel Cashflow, because he's too busy watching his buttons. He's watching to make sure if he advances, watching for those dash ins. And he's not ready for those. See? See how he throws those claws out? He's making him think, I'm going to come in and hit buttons. Oh, here's a Seismo. And of course, Seismo on block is still really good because he's building V trigger, which is what all Nikali's want. So. Could have been a confirmed to close out the round right there. Who's not giving up? Ooh, anti air crouch jab. I've only seen that mostly with Bison. That's, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. You know what, though? It was really perfectly like spaced in that particular yeah. moment. So not every, you can't always do that, but it seemed like he felt very comfortable doing it. Get the up. All right. Ooh, wake up DP. Good. Back into the middle. Drew with a nice overhead. Gonna try it. He's got a lot of meter here. I bet he wakes up DP. No, he didn't. He got him on the oh. counter hit. Mm. Didn't, didn't capitalize off it now. Is Fidel trying to be conservative right now? Like It seems like he's afraid to spin the meter. Maybe he's just a little... Oh, he just missed it right there. That, oh, that should be it. Okay. Yep. All right, well, his patience paid off. He kept his meter. Yeah. Hopefully he burns her early on so he can get a lead in the next round. Yeah, he's really got to confirm off those, uh, those crouching forwards and, and get it something going because... I get saving the meter for the end of the round, but sometimes you just gotta get the damage in too. Yeah, you don't wanna play like play with fire. You yeah, wanna get exactly. that game and continue going. Ooh, getting hit with the seismos. Ooh, counter hit carried to the corner. Seems a little scared to what to do on wake up, can't quite you know, he's not blocking as much. Ooh, and that's gonna Now he has no V reverse. Yeah, okay. See, yep. Well, now is he making an? Is he gonna make an adjustment now, or is it like he just? He's got V trigger. Far behind. One hit. Ooh. No confirm. Nothing. This is really scary because all he needs is an anti-air jab. Could have been anything. So. Fidel, he definitely felt the condition to Nicole, not be able to go in. He didn't feel comfortable. He didn't feel confident. No. And he he definitely had opportunities to to do more damage at certain times, and he didn't. Was that the last game? It wasn't the last that game. That was sending uh, Fidel Cashflow into losers finals. So now we're going to see Maticus versus Fidel Cashflow. Uh, it's going to be Karen and Bison. Uh, Karen does a really good job against Bison. Actually, she's got the, the perfect buttons for.